All right, so Febreze doesn't work if you're trying to keep a bunch of bodies in the basement. Outside of the <laughs> the lime and whatever else they use, don't use Febreze. Hey, serial killers, hey. listen to this. Don't use Febreze. It just stinks more. Febreze. Fragrant corpses. <laughs> Welcome to Kesha and the Creepies. Today, we have Kyle Kinane. Thank you for coming on Kesha and the Creepies. Uh, you bet, Kesha. Thanks for having me. I'm My, about them creepies. Yeah, I love creepy shit. And through the grapevine, I've heard you also love creepy shit. I'm a big fan. Got a big old poster of a Bigfoot movie in the background here and some other weird oddities. I love... Okay, uh, Bigfoot's one I never have like fully gotten into. Is that, okay. are you a believer in Bigfoot? Well, I, I think all my all my beliefs stem from like a real why not. Yeah. Like why not let the world be a little bit more interesting with oddities? Like maybe, I don't know, the woods, they're pretty big. It's true. I mean, I want to believe in a Bigfoot. I just have never seen super compelling. Every time I see something, it's like so bad. Yeah, I don't know what it is like the Bigfoot hunters can always like get somebody with a helicopter and an infrared camera. But then anytime they do see them, they got like a flip phone from 2001. That's what I'm saying. I've never seen a good picture of Bigfoot. Here's I'll throw this one at you. Go on. Bigfoot is a time traveler. He's got portals in the woods. Oh, Nobody can catch him because he just travels to another dimension. That's one I've, I've heard. In his oh, life. I love that. See, I can totally get behind that. See, can, Bigfoot. Done. Yeah, what if Bigfoot's from the future already, and he's not an ape? He's an he's an advanced human being who doesn't even need uh, clothes or anything anymore. Like all, all he's all biomechanical inside. He's got all all his uh, he's got psychic abilities. You can throw anything you want at Bigfoot and let him have it. That's what's fun. Did you know that John Wayne Gacy committed his murders thirty minutes away from where you're from? Uh. Yeah, that was the big joke because he was also a contractor. So it was always like, oh, they're going to come tear up your driveway looking for kids. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, I'm la I mean, I'm laughing at it because that was the joke that I would always hear at like barbecues and everything. That, like our, My dads and uncles would like make jokes about. It. But, it's so yeah. dark. Yeah, there was we had John Wayne Gacy. I mean, listen, we're no Wisconsin. All right. Okay, true. Wisconsin has just. Dahmer. Be well, it's got beer and the friendliest regular just beer drinking folks, and then real, real psychos. And I don't know what the split is. Like, I part of me, I was trying to make jokes about how if you live in a city, especially an apartment, like you're forced to know your neighbors, so yeah. there's assholes. But there's not as many psychos because, like, I got shared walls. Like, I know if you're doing some nefarious stuff. Now I'm in the suburbs with distance between people. And there's way more weirdness happening in the suburbs than people realize. I used to deliver pizzas. And you encounter way weirder characters in the suburbs. It's always like, oh, the guy had, like, nine people caged up. Not in an apartment, in a basement in the suburbs, because yeah. you can have a basement in the suburbs. In a crawl space. He had 30, yeah. like, 30 bodies, or 26 or 28 of them are under the house, all the bodies. And I'm wondering, because you live in the suburbs, yeah. could you, like, couldn't you smell that from next door? I think enough Febreze and, uh... Oh. Fabrice doesn't actually upstairs. get rid of odors. Doesn't anybody know this? Like, all it does is smell like poop and Febreze, or like cat shit and Febreze. It's so disgusting. All right, so Febreze doesn't work if you're trying to keep a bunch of bodies in the basement. Outside of the <laughs> the lime and whatever else they use, don't use Febreze. Hey, serial killers, hey. listen to this. Don't use Febreze. It just stinks more. Febreze. Fragrant corpses. <laughs> But oh. I love that's why I love delivering pizzas because like any kind of weirdo just open their door. That sounds so, like, scary see, like, to me. I don't know why delivering pizzas sounds it, like a scary job. Maybe I've been watching too many be. movies or something. Tell me the weirdest shit you saw delivering pizzas. I want to know. It was usually like just getting invited in to do drugs with people. Oh, people love getting the pizza dude, like getting him a beer or getting him stoned because he's the pizza nice. guy. And people, yeah, I was always appreciative. 
of that kind of generosity. It was always weird when it was like with a family though. When like, I remember I went to one house, we would go to this apartment complex and this is a bit grotesque. There was a, this was like, it was a bad apartment complex. And I don't think like Domino's or Pizza Hut would deliver there because of insurance reasons. Cause that's oh how God. bad it was. So I, I just worked for my friend and he's like, Oh cool, man. We got a hundred percent of the business over at this apartment. And there had been like a lot of shootings and robberies and uh, there was a murder. It was a, a pregnant woman was murdered and the child was cut out of the womb. What? That was, uh, yeah. So that happened at this apartment complex. That's some Manson shit. Yeah, it was a real grotesque stuff. And, uh, and, and you so were like, time, I should deliver a... pizzas to this place? Well... I mean, I don't know if you've been a teenager in the suburbs, you you do a lot of stuff for money. Yeah, okay, true. <laughs> you do you do a lot of things to pay for a car and try and get out of the suburbs. So we'd go there and it was a place where you're like, oh, I got to ch- put all my money in different pockets. So if I get robbed, I just go to one pocket and give them that money. You got to split up your money. No. My buddy got robbed and they took the pizza. That's rude. I think he offered. He's like, he's like, you want the pizza too? And they're like, oh, okay, yeah. So I'm sure you know that gets your adrenaline going. You get hungry after a robbery. But I, I delivered to this family. And it was like a mom and a teenage son, like a little kid. And then I get halfway down the staircase. I just hear, hey, pizza man, you want to smoke some killer Doge? And I was like, well, <laughs> yes. Uh, I sure. And I just he let me in, and then he goes, hold. I gave me a bowl. And he goes, hold on. And the mom just took the pizzas. Mom and the little kids just eating the pizza in the dining room. I'm like, how's it going? I'm like, hi. I'm starting to feel a little bad about this environment, mostly yeah. for the kid. Like, you should. And I just hear all this glass break in the back room where this kid had gone to, this teenager. He just, I just hear, fuck. And he comes out. He's like, I had like a five foot graphic. So I was going to have you hit, man. Oh, I just busted it. <laughs> so I was the reason this guy broke his five foot graphics bong. <laughs> and, but then he's like, I'm real sorry, man. And he just let me, I just sat on their couch smoking a bowl, watching TV. Sounds so While awkward. they just ate pizza in the other room. Let's get into aliens. Go. What's your stance? <laughs> oh, I'm well, going? I, I'll go. Oh, I'll go. I can, I'm happy to go too, but I want you to go first because I'm just curious. I know what I think. All right. Um, here's my thought on aliens. Uh, that one, it's that it's future humans coming back to see, For sure. you know, That's what I think. maybe it's like, t- it's tourism, you know, it's time travel tourism possibly. Oh. Why do we constantly look at aliens to be of a shit? Why do they all have to be like a human form or somewhat? We're always expecting them to be like, Oh, it's still got a head and eyes mm. and wears like a shiny jacket or something. Like Why? Why can't aliens be microorganisms that are coming to Earth? They could be. Uh, I mean, Alice know. Cooper thinks that COVID is an alien. To hear the entire podcast. Listen and follow Kesha and the Creepies on iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to podcasts.